Hey everyone, this is Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well. It's Wednesday, October 28th. I have a very quick update for you on the latest stimulus news, the stock market news, election news, and most importantly, the COVID infection news. Cases continue to skyrocket. I'm also going to pick two stimulus giveaway winners in this video, so watch until the end. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. We're going to continue to give important updates the rest of this week and next week especially in and around election day. But here's the headline from today. The Dow sinks 680 points as investors fear a rise in COVID cases could halt the economic recovery. So to bring you up to speed very quickly, on Friday, last Friday, we hit an all-time infection record. There were 85,000 cases. The rolling seven-day average now is over 70,000. It's the highest it's ever been in the U.S. And over the last week, there have been half a million coronavirus cases throughout the U.S. The Midwest and the Mountain West are seeing the largest surges in cases. Meanwhile, Mitch McConnell and Congress, they all went away until after the election, so there will be no deal done before the election, unfortunately. The question now is, can something get passed and approved end of November or beginning of December? And of course, all of that depends on what happens with the election, which is six days away. One of the things we are doing on the Skip blog and also on the Skip app is tracking the 13 battleground states. According to 538, there are 13 battleground states that could go either way that are very close. And we are updating these throughout the day every day. So we just updated these an hour ago from the latest polling numbers it includes Texas, Florida, North Carolina, Georgia, Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania. Arizona, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Nevada, and New Hampshire. If you're in one of those states, I'd love to hear in the comments. Or if you have any words for folks in those states, let them know. Again, these, according to experts and 538, are the 13 battleground states, which will determine not only who is the next president of the U.S., but also, to a large degree, who will control both the Senate and the House of Representatives. So these are incredibly important. We are updating these a couple times a day. Again, even though a lot of these show Biden in the lead, Many are close, such as Arizona and Iowa, and of course, Florida. Many predict that Florida will be an indicator, just as it was in the 2000 election, of who will actually win this election. But back to the stock market, it continued its route today, deepening this week's losses on concerns that rising number of coronavirus infections in the US and Europe will push governments to bring back restrictions on businesses. Europe is implementing more restrictions, Certain states in the U.S. are implementing more restrictions. Today, the Dow Jones Industrial Average tumbled 800 points, and the S&P dropped 2.9%, heading for a third straight loss. It's already down 3.8% this week. Here's the Federal Reserve Chair, Jerome Powell. He has been pushing for more stimulus. He's been saying that for months. Of course, most lawmakers have been saying that they want more stimulus. But he's been saying that for good reason. The central bank is running out of ways it can actually help. Here's what it says in CNBC, since the expiration of key provisions of the $2.2 trillion CARES Act lifeline that Congress extended in March, the Fed again has been relied on as the economy's key support system. The central bank has kept policy extraordinarily loose, continuing to offer its lending and market boosting programs, and now resolving that it won't likely raise short-term interest rates for years. Of course, cases are rising in many places around the world, the UK and Europe, Canada, and of course, the US. You can see we're at the highest point we've been at since the start of the pandemic. Countries are considering serious lockdowns. Even Fauci earlier this week posed the question, hey, should we do a national mask mandate? What do you think about that idea? Right now, it's mainly been state by state, locality by locality. Do you think there should be a national mask mandate? Would that help us get through this? Here's a closer look at the hotspots I was just mentioning. As you can see, Midwest, including Wisconsin, is still growing incredibly fast, and many places out west here too, including the Dakotas, Montana, Idaho, and even in Alaska. Okay, we're about to pick two stimulus winners right now, but as you know, our app is live on the App Store and Google Play. It's free. Just search Hello Skip. You'll find the app. I'm gonna leave the links in the description. We just released a new version today which has a new rewards feature that you can earn up to $500.
for various things such as referring others to skip or tracking your documents. You can request early access in the app right now. Again, it's the reward screen in the Hello Skip app. And you can see not only all these polls right in the app, but we did a Q&A with a doctor from Los Angeles on how to stay safe during COVID, especially if you want to get away, whether it's a road trip of an hour or more. We talked with an infectious disease expert. That's on the Skip blog and on the app. And of course, our daily COVID updates, which we do every single day to keep you up to date on the latest infection counts and everything you need to know. It's both on the Skip blog and on the app. All right, without further ado, let's pick some winners. You know, last week we picked two $100 winners. Our revenue has been down, unfortunately. We're still trying to do as much as we can to help. We're gonna pick two winners right now that will get $100 each. Again, as many of you have said, 100 is better than nothing. And we always so appreciate your comments and your gratitude for everything we are trying to do. Of course, to be eligible, you have to be a subscriber to our channel. We are going to continue this in November as well. So hit subscribe if you haven't yet. Let's pick our first winner, here we go. Reginald Williams, congratulations. Here's your comment. This, my name is Reginald Williams. We'll try to your channel, What's Met Matos, and watching you know. There is no hashtag at all, whether stimulus or skip stimulus. So, original if you're watching you can get in touch but i'm going to go ahead and pick another winner right now because it's only fair we gave a few simple rules to subscribe to leave hashtag skip stimulus they've been above seven thank you hashtag stimulus all right get in touch you're one of the winners today and let's pick a second winner right now here's our second winner don void hashtag skip stimulus close enough little typo there but don get in touch as always, we're gonna pick more winners next week. It'll be our last drawing from the October batch, and then we'll do November giveaways as well. I will announce that next week. Hey, a week from now, we may know who the next president will be. Stay tuned, I'm gonna keep you updated. Most importantly, I'm gonna keep you updated on the important news that you care about, the stimulus money. What is the government doing to help you, the stock market, and of course, COVID infections, what you need to know about, especially depending on where you live. As always, thanks so much for supporting us. Stay well, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow.